what's going on guys and welcome to your 43rd javascript tutorial in which we'll be continuing with regular expressions and we'll be taking it a bit slow because this is a kind of very important and a kind of bit difficult to understand at first go so let's start with building a simple regular expression program and just for your knowledge regex regex is a fancy way of saying regular expression because it consists of both reg for regular and x for expression so let's get started um, so let's say I want from user to enter something and then I would like to separate out only numbers from the user input so First of all, let's build something for user to input and let's say the input should be prompt, enter some value and prompt would uh, basically just show a alert box just like the alert but it would actually give an input box as well to the user for something to write. So just for knowledge, remember prompt is a function which you don't use much uh, except the for the educational purposes and for teaching people so that's how it works and let's test this uh, let's uh, bring it up and we have got a nice input box so that we can enter something and now this input contains this value we have entered right now so now let's create result and let's create a Red kicks first so that it's simple for you to understand now what you want to do is we want to match every digit and from the last tutorial you remember that to match any digit which is a number we use the backward slash and a D now this is a special character or you can say technically this is a quantifier in regular expression which would match any number and as I told you regular expressions have a special ability to just stop whenever they meet their first match so to keep this program ready, uh, running I would add this G character right after these two backslashes and if you don't know why then go back to my uh, last tutorial in regular expressions and watch that and you know so let's get started and in the result we have input dot match regex now this is kind of just writing this thing right here but I just wrote it in a different variable so that it's cleaner to look so now what we have got we are getting some input from the user we are applying a regular expression which matches every digit and for the whole string of the user not just for the first occurrence and then we are gathering all the digits in the result variable now let's do some kind of debugging let's say console log type of result first of all then I would like to log the result itself now here's the browser window let's keep the inspect element ready and here you go now let's reload this page and let's enter something uh, some random thing with some digits as well you can see in between there are some digits now let's click on OK so what we have got here is first of all we got the type of as object because returned type is an array you can see here and uh, the result has got every digit as separated though we wrote as many digits together but regular expression separated out every digit so why it is so so basically right here this D now try to understand this this D would match a digit only a digit that means one digit at a time and since we are applying a global fun uh, modifier to this regular expression then this would run for the whole program whole string we have so it would 
uh, kind of your basically match every digit every separate time so if we have the input as abc1 def2 and really any random string and we have a double digit number right here so what you'll do is it will start from character one and see if it's a number no 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 yeah it is so it will push it into the array then it will move forward no 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 yeah move it to array no 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 yes so now it stops here and it would consider three and four as different elements inside the array so how do we fix that so to fix that we make use of the plus uh, symbol right here with the D quantifier now what this plus would do is I'll show you let's see first of all what it would do now let's reload this and let's um, enter some values and a digit and some values and digits and so on so now we have a much cleaner and readable type of output from the regular expressions now we are getting only the digits and not that uh, basically separated out digits we are not getting like two three eight seven four as separated but we are getting all the numbers which are together as together so let's see how and how this plus is basically modifying our output so much so when we wrote our program without the uh, plus sign then what happened is it matched let's say the string a b one two three d e three it matched the string as separately as I told you before but when we made use of this plus symbol right here then it matched the preceding string or basically expression one or more time so this plus okay so this plus what it said to JavaScript is that in the first one we have got a b so these are not digits so ignore them then once it got one then it looked for the next character and it said yeah the next character is also a digit so before pushing one to the regular expression or sorry to the array of that regular expression let's lay, uh, take a look at 2 and it moved to 2 and it took a look at the next character to 2 which is also a digit and said to the uh, regular expression that 3 is also a digit so let's move to 3 and when it looked at the next character to 3 it found D which is not a digit so the regular expression for D terminated for this bunch of string right here uh, numbers right here and this was outputted as a single element inside a array and it's just a single digit single digit number so not much problem with this let's reload this and paste the same output and as you can see it works as expected so that was a simple program on how regular expression works and I hope you got this program to summarize this we put regular expressions inside two slashes this D right here means match any digit any one digit now this global flag would actually run this regular expression for the whole string we entered instead of just terminating it after one run and this plus modifier says that match one or more characters uh, which are similar to the preceding one and for this case we have a character as digit so before closing this tutorial let me give you another quick example so the C plus let's see what this would do C plus A and let's see we have got enter some value and okay so pretty much our work is done here and let's reload this and I'll show you what it does actually let's reload this and let's enter C A T cat so we have got C A as the output now why is this so so we have got like C plus A now we got C and plus sign now it signifies that include at least one C in the string so if at least 
once c is present in our string which was then it would match c plus a so if i write like uh, c a t cat then only then also it would just run with uh, c a because we are instructed to have multiple c's but only one a so that's the reason we still get c a because our of output because of this string and we'll still get c a but if we do like c and a t then we'll get all these c unless it encounters a so if i remove this a as well and let's reload this and let's write anything so it would match c only so this technically means one or more occurrences of c so basically we are only matching c and th in this case this uh, basically means just like this one so there's no difference between this and this because both would run for the full string and basically uh, I should say that there's a little bit difference between these two because if we run it like this then what we'll get is something different let's copy this and we got like this but if I write C plus then it would continuously look for the input and we still got this because uh, I guess we, I, we didn't have a lot of uh, C's together and let's copy this and in the plus sign we got output as this remember this and now let's remove that and now let's reload copy the same and click on OK now we have got separate characters so remember that plus would actually uh, match unless it encounters or uh, basically until it encounters every character one or more time which is preceding itself so plus preceding plus is the CU character and it would match unless C's all C's are present in a particular given string together remember that C's should be together to be matched so that's all for this tutorial we where we created a simple regular expression program I hope you found it fun to learn and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video